Yo, what's up with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, as always. We'll talk as Nikki Komori's out there. There's a Nintendo Sony for 2011 and came Mini Wolverine. Of course, you guys know the rest of the intros and outro towards this channel. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. I wanted to talk about this news a couple days ago, about five days ago, but two things were holding me back a little bit. Number one, I had this really bad fucking Charlie horse on my leg, so I really couldn't walk that well for like about four days. And after about five days, I was finally able to walk in this bitch. Fucking finally. Other than that, yeah, um, it's mainly the only reason I even fucking decided to do this video. I know I'm like five days late. I think it was like Thursday or Friday when I started hearing about this, but pretty wild shit. Um, but I want to get to this news before I get to a little, um, I don't want to say drama infested news, more like YouTube, like, um, is over dramatizing itself with this dude. I've seen this dude way back in 2010, 2011 about the whole map pad saying that the reason why Etika committed suicide was because of, of cancel culture. I don't think that's the case at all. I've only seen like two other people talk about this. There's probably way more to talk about it besides those two. This one guy, his name was Tipster. I've heard of him a couple times. So he's usually like talking about a lot of YouTube drama news. I really won't get too much into that. I want to talk about that occasionally as anything with video game related stuff or topics or articles or just the video gaming industry itself. I mean, he, he kind of had it with the video game reactions and all that shit when that guy was still alive almost three months ago. And it's still crazy to think that dude was been deceased for like three months. Man. It's absolutely fucking crazy. But anyways, now let's get into this news first. Um, Nintendo files patents for bending Joy-Cons. And believe it or not, I heard about this a couple days ago from Tuesday. So a lot of this news is like over a week old, but I still want to do a chat and present it. As you can tell, it's working now. This is in the AZ recorder. This is a different app that I'm using. I think it's called Magic Recorder. Yeah, it's something like that. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. So I'm not sure where this comes from, but I know it comes from Game Rant. Oh, Michael Beckwith. So I got to give credit credit is due. I'm going to have to cross the street in a second, so you're going to have to bear with me. It says, Nintendo has recently been attempting to improve popular Switch. There's another, I, there's another article before I do keep reading this article. It's from Nintendo Suit, so I'll leave the link in the description box down below if any people want to see it yourself. One second, I think. This is street real fucking quick. Hold on. Sorry we can't hear me. Fuck. I hate it when it happens. Hold on, guys. Whoa, one second. Anyways, um, hopefully this is recording still. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, there it is. Sorry, my hat fucking flew off there for a second. I don't know why, because this fucking loud ass goddamn wind is a bitch. Anyways, yeah, there was a shorter article on Nintendo Swoop, so I'll leave the article in the description box below. And then, like, I didn't really find any articles about that. I just mainly heard this from a lot of YouTubers about, like I was saying before, about MatPat. I think the reason that I could commit a suicide was because of cancel culture. Absolute bullshit. I don't believe that shit for a fucking second. That dude's a grimy little piece of shit half the time anyways. AKA the game there. So it's funny because back in the day, the early mid-2010s. So I want to say about 2014 or 2015 is like the last time I watched him. So it's been about five and a half, six years the last time I've seen the dude. On YouTube, of course. Until he's a slime ball little piece of shit that only gives a fuck, fuck about money gives a shit about materialistic fucking garbage in this world so he can go fuck himself to be honest uh, a lot of people already exposed the motherfucker so it's not even not even like <laughs> not even my like boutique and not even boutique but like um emphasis i don't even know what the word i would even use to fucking talk about him but it's not really in my center of um <laughs> professionalism to talk about the motherfucker anyways all right, for example, a new updated model, model will improve battery life and release. And the Switch Lite, which is due to come out at the end of this month, will offer a pure handheld experience to those who play the Switch games to go more at home. Now Nintendo may be able to make another change, focusing on the Joy-Cons controllers. This information comes from the official Japanese patent debates, excuse me, dat database. Where Nintendo has filed a new patent for the redesigns of Joy-Cons, admittedly, the new design doesn't look any different from its cultural iteration, but it does offer one major difference. As can be seen, the images of the new Joy-Cons would have a binge that allows the top of the part to be flexible. This might be, seems like, whatever random thing to incorporate. Several other fans have pointed out that this could be the 
beneficial way to players that have trouble with the standard joy cons. This can make the play playing switch more titles more accessible. And also so the patent is known as Japanese is currently unknown and there are other changes that have been implemented. There's also an important note that while the patent is real, this doesn't necessarily mean that Nintendo will make Joy-Cons. All it means is Nintendo is looking at potential revisions, though giving the affirmated accessibility to the controllers will, controllers could provide. Going through what it seems like a smart idea, there's a bunch of pictures over here about the bendable Joy-Cons, which I doubt this is ever going to happen in real life now. Cause this is like 2016 or 2017 they had these planned for for a while, but <coughs> unless they make it for the Switch Lite, which we know that they're not going to be bendable Joy-Cons and that thing, because everyone knows what it looks like officially, so there's no way they could go back and try to do a remake of that. Or try to like make a re-advanced version, a bendable rubber band, elastic, non-breakable version of the Joy-Con bendable switches. I'm not sure if that made any sense. I fucking doubt it though. Let's move forward. Meanwhile, Nintendo has also started to advertise its experiences for the Switch, involving the Joy-Con's motion control capabilities. It involves for some of the belts, some of the belt of the players that attach to some of the Joy-Cons with others being attached to the leg strap. No gameplay was shown, but it is possible that Nintendo is planning on some follow-up of the Wii Fit titles to encourage, encourage its exercise. Most fans, however, think that the eye of all the focus of the announcements came from Nintendo's recent Direct, which confirmed the newest character to be added to Smash Bros. Ultimate, Fatal Fury's Terry Bogard, and revealed that the more DLC characters will be included beyond the five from the Fire Fighters Pass. Nintendo Switch Lite will be released on September 20th, and then that's it, yeah. All this other news is not related to this, so yeah. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions, this thing right here, it is 100% real, but it's probably a delayed product that Nintendo's never going to get to. They have millions upon billions of other video game titles they got to get to first before they even reach this. Maybe the year 2023, if not that time, maybe 2024, 2025, like five or six more years from now. Maybe they'll have another like Nintendo Switch Pro 2. Maybe that's what it might look like. Until then, us as the fans, we can only speculate and give out fake data and fake leaks about this shit. Who the fuck knows? We can only speculate about this and make our educational guesses to be more precise. So let's get on to this other one over here. This is mainly like a lot of Reddit and Fortune forms, so none of this is 100% accurate. Maybe it's 80% accurate. I don't know. This comes from NeoGAF, though. I don't know if one of these forms are real or they're fake. I'll leave a link to Tipster's videos. And then this other dude, I think his name was... um. Fuck, I forgot what his name was. Um, Design Underwind? I don't even remember what it is. Something Soul. Oh, Unwired Soul. So I'll leave links to both of their videos about them talking about how they had respect for Matt Pat, aka the game theorist, but at the same time they kind of lost it. I lost my respect for that motherfucker years ago, like six years ago, to be more precise. And da -da 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 -da. this is a link from Wednesday. I thought it was Thursday or Friday. Never mind. I fucked up there. My bad. If you don't know about Edgar suffer from a mental illness, in a moment of weakness, he posted some really dumb shit that caused the entire internet to turn him off to his one million sub YouTube channel ban. She had only 850,000, he never got up to a million, which sucks. This dude Desmond was a fucking diamond in the rough. I used to love watching this dude's reactions. <laughs> the motherfucker made me laugh so goddamn hard, man. This dude was funny as shit, and it sucks. We lost one of the greatest we probably lost like the Richard Pryor and the De Chappelle of our time. That's what we fucking lost. Even that other dude, Cedric the Entertainer. And not even Cedric the Entertainer, the other dude that was, he was to say, Good morning, America. This one black dude that was a comedian, Bernie Mac. You know, he was like the Bernie Mac of YouTube, man. Funniest dude on the fucking planet. I was lucky enough to meet him like two years ago before he took his life. So hopefully he's up there in heaven somewhere watching. All of the fucking Joy-Con boys and the Joy-Con men and everyone else in between having a good time watching the Direct. It just felt weird not seeing him react to it this time, which was weird, man. It felt like a piece of my soul was fucking missing. That's what I feel like sometimes. But here we go. Um, da -da 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 -da. Ca Causing him a mental breakdown. An attack nearby police officer a week before he taking his own life. And now all of the culture canceledness. Cancelers are mad at MatPat for the fact that 
their shit talking caused a mentally unstable man to commit suicide. And other people are saying, oh, well, guess what? He's the next on a cancel list. Remember, just a theory. <laughs> I, I know what he's talking about there. And those most replies seem to be more upset because they don't see how Etika's situation relates to cancel culture, which it doesn't. I usually find this is from this other dude named Brian Miku Miku. I find that Map Hat is annoying, but good good on him for staying on for Etika. He's sure to be targeted by the outrage mob, though. Let's hope he doesn't get canceled. <sighs> oh, and that's shit about Zoe Quinn. I really don't want to fucking read about that cunt. That's one of the nastiest fucking bitches next to her and Anita Sarkeesian, which, and God, nobody talks about her fucking ass anymore. All right, uh, da, 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 da. Good old Matt. All right, here it is. This is another really good one here from this guy, um, GV82. The very reason I left the other site is I cannot believe people still go after, after the one that treated the, uh, the treatment and situation and attempt to cover up the situation by removing posts. And both of the mods and the site admins refusing allowing to allow condolences thread even after the, his death was confirmed officially for many hours later. It was only after continued pressure from us that he even allowed the thread to dedicate it, to dedicate it to him. Still even Ilric, they even locked several times over the following 24 hours. My head was spinning and I was upset at the treatment of the situation. So I was out there before I decided to quit. Quit that very day. Mentally, I feel healthier for it. Even then, they were allowed to do such a thread. One or two of the mods have checked the right they poor me post because they were having a tough time dealing with the backlash. Poor mods, bullshit. A young man has just died. There's no poor you, especially when you had to show no sympathy for him. They just showed no empathy to run, run up to his death and then claim pity afterwards. No way. Some of them to this day still hold a grudge against him, and even in the death, I'm sure not to agree with everything Etika did and said. But the death of him is not something I would wish on him or people who are allowed to make and learn from a mistake in life. I wouldn't wish cancellation on the people of Reset Era, I didn't necessarily say it, and the like, but rather than I hope to grow up and realize that we're going down the wrong path in life, learn to empathize with other humans, but they probably won't. Very good intellectual conversation with these three on the Reddit post, which I didn't have any conversation with them. I'm just reading what they said. So over fucking all thoughts, views, and opinions. It is a bitch. It's Mr. Um, Desmond Amofa, a.k.a. Etika from the Etika World Network. He passed away. Ah, oh, man. The guy was the greatest guy in this YouTube site, man. He, he didn't give a fuck about being censored. He said whatever the fuck he wanted to say in his mind, and he kept it 100% raw and fucking uncut. That's what I love about him and what I loved about Dave Chappelle, and he's still cool as shit, too. Um, hopefully he's up there with Satoru Iwata and a couple other people that died. And Stan Lee, he's probably seeing him, probably sipping champagne and a bunch of fucking alcohol up in heavens right now. <laughs> hopefully he is. And a thumbs up for him because hopefully he's having the best eternal life ever. Hopefully I get to meet him one day after I pass away, which hopefully I'm an 80, 90-year-old man by then. <laughs> probably not going to be on YouTube at that point. If I am, that's cool, but if not, I doubt it. Other than that, that's all I gotta say for now, and I'm out of here. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, as always. No tacos, Nikki Komodis. I'll see you when I see you guys today. Have a good night wherever we're at in the universe out there. Stay tuned for more future content channel, including video game industry news, anime manga news, internet news, and that wraps up the video. Peace out, I'm Molly Sauerkraut. Later's gonna buy. I will see all you people on the flip side. Take it easy, I'm gone, I'm out. Stay tuned for more future content in the future videos, and goodbye. Laters. Talk to you soon.